Women's Policy Center just released the latest data of women murdered by men across the country. We are fighting this every single month of the year, and I think given when you look at the statistics of where we are um, nationwide, it's something that needs more of a focus other than just October. Last year, South Carolina ranked fifth. In the recent report, we dropped one spot to sixth. But the amount of women murdered by men slightly increased from 47 to 48. The executive director of the domestic violence shelter, My Sister's House, says the numbers are disappointing. Not seeing the kind of movement that we would hope to see, um, given some of the legislation that's come out. According to the recent numbers, 95% of the women were murdered by someone they knew. And in more than half of the instances, a gun was used. Just really reiterating and solidifying stuff that we already knew about firearms being present in the home and that increasing a woman's chance to be murdered um, during these sort of uh, domestic disputes that are happening. Um, I think there's a lot, of, um, a lot of the narrative that is saying, you know, have a gun for your own protection, but we're actually seeing the opposite um, concerned when it comes to this report. Men are also standing up against domestic violence. The founder of Real Men Against Domestic Violence tells me it starts with the way men are raised and his group is trying to change that culture. We're raised not to show any emotion. The only emotion that we can show is anger. We try to teach men that it's okay to show those emotions and, and, and hopefully that'll teach men that, you know, that, that it's okay to show the emotions so they won't lash out that anger at the person they supposedly care about the most. To learn more about domestic violence and walk alongside survivors, you can head out to the Hope Walk on Saturday at 8 a.m. on the Charleston side of the Ravenel Bridge. Or go to the My Sister's House Luncheon. That's on Wednesday at 12.30 at Alhambra Hall in Mount Pleasant to hear from local leaders about how they are fighting domestic violence here in the Lowcountry. I'll post more about each of these events on our website, countonto.com. Macy McLeod, Count On 2.